Hey guys, if this is your first time to my channel, my name's Angel and this is my shop in the Florida Keys. Today I'm going to be talking about hydro testing, how to hydro test a scuba tank. A lot of people know that their tanks must be hydro tested, but they don't know what is actually involved with the test. Today I'm going to show you step by step. Now what is a hydro test? A hydro test is a pressure test of your cylinder to make sure that it's still worthy of holding air. This test is mandated by Department of Transportation. It must be done every five years and a permanent stamp or mark on your tank to show that a tank is current. The word hydro tells you a lot. The test is performed with water. We fill the tank with water and we place the tank inside a well that is filled with water. Once we do that, we can seal the tank inside, pressurize it to five thirds its working pressure. And that way, if we have a failure, nobody gets hurt because water is not explosive. Before hydro testing, we must do a pre-hydro visual. I posted a video on how to inspect a scuba tank, the VIP. We start by the exterior, then we look at the interior. We also inspect the neck threads. We use a mirror and a light, and we're looking for any kind of defects, corrosion, possibly even a neck crack. Once the tank passes the visual, we move on to the hydro. Let's begin. First step, we have to fill the tank with water. Yes, that is a water nozzle. A lot of people ask me, what kind of gas am I putting in your tanks? No, it's water. It's a water nozzle. Then we attach a brass adapter to it so we can hoist it into the actual well. This well is also known as a water jacket. Tanks have an empty weight of about 32 pounds. When we add water, we're adding about three gallons. So we're adding probably 24 plus pounds. So it's 56 to 58 pounds of lift. That hoist comes in real handy. As I lower the tank into the water jacket, you'll notice that water starts to rise in the jacket. Once the tank is in the jacket, we seal the lid, and the next step is to bleed any air out of the system. During the test, water is being displaced into this cup, and then we can weigh it in this scale in grams, which is also the same as cc's. The tank is pressurized five-thirds working pressure. Three thousand psi working pressure, test pressure is five thousand. Here you can see as the test pressure is reaching five thousand psi, the scale is climbing 67, 68, 69. Let's see where it stops. Looks like it wants to settle in at 73.5.6 grams, which is also the same as cc's. Hold time is 30 seconds. Then we can release the pressure and you'll see that the scale starts to decrease. It looks like we're gonna settle in somewhere around 0.8.9 grams or cc's. Now we record the findings. We have a 3AL 3000 service pressure tank with a test pressure of 5000. We record the expansion rates. Our total expansion for this particular tank was 73.6. Then we had a permanent expansion of 0.9. To get the elastic number, we take our total, subtract, our permanent and we have our elastic in this case 72.7 we have an allowable 10 percent of permanent expansion to get this percentage we take our permanent we divide it by our total times 100 and that equals our percentage of permanent expansion 
Once we record our findings, we can remove the tank from the water jacket. After draining the water from the tank, off to the dryer. We stamp the tank with the retester's identification number or RIN, month and year of the test. And this test is good for five years. Well, there you have it. How to hydro test a scuba tank. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's videos. Any comments or questions, just leave them down below. And thanks for watching.